How are fans a part of the team behind the team here at Liverpool Football Club? I'm going to meet a lifelong supporter to find out just what it means to them, the players and the club. Hello, Joe. We've got to do this, all this now, haven't we? How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm all right. I was going to say welcome, but this is like your second home, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The holy ground. I'm a football fan in general. I love watching football. And there's something about Liverpool fans yeah. and how loud it is. And you Especially. see them singing and everything else. And I think, oh, that must be amazing. What is it like being a part of that? It's, uh, it is it is special, to be honest. You know, we like to think of ourselves as the 12th man and we give them that lift. And, you know, it's like Shankly used to say, the players play for us. Yeah. And in return, we love them. And, yeah. And we give them that boost to play yeah. that little bit better. What's your your standout memory. If I told you I met my husband on that corner over there. No. Back in the day, you used to have to come and queue for your tickets. Yeah. We were in the queue for about two and a half hours. I remember asking him, were you there for the Chelsea game? And, yeah. and chatting about that. And I was thinking, I think I've copped at the copy. <laughs> I'm sure he's flirting with me. <laughs> when he wanted to propose, he basically tricked me to come back here. And as we got to the spot where we met in the queue, he proposed. I mean, that's good. Yeah, so that was... <laughs> you, that's smooth. We ended up married with three children. My children are actually named Ruby, Esme and Drew, which spells red. <laughs> I was going to say how important it is that your family support Liverpool, but that, I mean, they've no choice really, no, have they? No. We live and breathe it, and when you're inside that stadium, you're part of that um, community, you're part of a family, and we're all in it together. You know, if, if they have a bad game, you know, it's not the end of the world. We, we will forgive them and, yeah. um, you know, get ready for the next game when we start again. Where are we in here? Oh, no, no, I'm looking the part. Here we go. It's the holy look ground. At that. Even now with no one in and you look at the cop, it just it still got it still look like oozes atmosphere. Oh tell you what, this seat would do me. I mean, this ground is so iconic. When you're here, you're here um as a unity with Everyone else in the stadium shares the same passion mm. with you. Talk me through your routine. Is there a? Do you have a certain breakfast? No, I'm. I'm not that superstitious. I don't like it. In case you can't follow that yeah. tradition, then that's why we lost. And do you do you uh, drive or do you get a lift down and then come in? How's it all work? Um, we oh, use. Oh, who's this guy? <laughs> Is it Joel? Resist. <laughs> Oh, Let's have a virtual one. Let's have a virtual that. one. Oh my God. I'm, getting, I'm not that wide. I'm getting a bit. <laughs> oh no, you're going to be a slimmer. Oh, I heard that so you're lovely be here. to I meet thought, you. I had to come all the way from the world because I heard that a super fan was here. I had to come and see you. So, John, as a player, what's it like being on that pitch, full house at Anfield, cop in full voice? It's incredible. They inspire you. They support you if you're not doing well. Um, and they do drive you on. And no matter what was happening, it was just like they were sucking the ball into the net. And when you talk about a 12th man, it's more like a 13th and 14th man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, when I first came, it was on a stands, I mean, yeah. people standing. Yeah. Mm. And to think you had 28,000 people, Whoa. 27, 28,000 people in the cop. That must have been magical. The noise is absolutely deafening. I think it had more of an, more of an effect on the opposition than it did on the home team. Really? Absolutely, because I came here as a Watford player, and of course, you just freeze. The great thing about Liverpool fans is that regardless of how well you're doing, they stick with you. Mm. As long as you show effort and commitment. That's yeah. It. <laughs> so Joe, first game back, full house. It's a three o'clock kickoff. Yeah. What time are you getting here? What are you gonna do? Oh gosh, be down here as, as early as possibly can, I think. Hang around outside for a while. Soak up the atmosphere because it'll it'll just be special. Everyone will be out, everyone will be smiling, everyone yeah. will be buzzing, regardless of the result, really, yeah. won't they? We're better than to spend your afternoon. The only, I could sit here all day long. The only thing we're missing is a cup of tea. <laughs> Can we have three cups of tea? And Joe. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the wrong impression of me, John. 